see any cotton around here lately? Cotton here. My name is my name. Talk show. Talk, Talk show. show like this. Yeah. So I've had Damon I had uh, Kim on. Yeah. And um, for you guys, my first question to you is, being the youngest, right, both of you being the youngest, right. like mm -hmm. I... I have an older brother, but we're only like a year apart. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Those out there, y'all know that. And but <laughs> but you guys, way. right? You guys had big brothers. Right. right, right. So tell me, what was what was the upside of having big brother? Well, uh, the upside of having. Please get your knee out my side, man. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey, talk. laughs> Come on, Sean, talk. No, I'm um, about to sit on the floor. <laughs> um, the upside to having big brothers was you could go to them for advice. You know, it was real cool. Especially you, man. You, you really, you, you know, you was kind of like a brother, brother slash father. Even though our father, he was there, he took care of us, he raised us. But Kenan kind of, he like took us into manhood. Yeah. You know. Uh, he, he did. I mean, everything we've done, he, he, you know, as far as when it comes to like, like sex and stuff, Kenan taught us all about it. I mean, I remember you teaching us like how to kiss a girl. I remember I came to you, I asked you how to kiss a girl on, on a grape. He taught me how to kiss a girl on a grape and he taught me how to... How... Not only did he teach us to kiss a girl, but he taught us how to... What up, yo? Yo, and when Keenan talks, he talks real soft and slow. And when he gives you instruction, he tells you, you want to kiss it. <laughs> but he always said, he always said, make sure you wash the grape first. Boy, Sean. Sean, Sean just made me moist watching the <laughs> Hell. <laughs> well, you know what's funny talking about <laughs> sex. What I rem this <laughs> I told you No, me. this is funny. The first time the first time I ever had sex, these two guys <laughs> were watching. <laughs> it's, it, this is cool. I was, they don't know that they don't they, they may not remember, but I, we you remember? I was like, I was, you know, I ain't going to... Yeah, we well, watched no, no, all 30 seconds of it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what happened was, I was babysitting. It was just me and them in the house. And I thought, okay, cool, this would be the perfect time. I had my girl come over. And every time I look over my shoulder, <laughs> who's standing in the doorway but these two, smiling. <laughs> and then you can hear the little feet take off running down the hall. <laughs> Like you asleep when you come out. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> but you know the reason why we went to you is because you know um, we couldn't I, go I, to daddy. I couldn't well, go to my pops because he was Jehovah's Witness. And now, when it, now when it came to sex, you no, no, not about I mean, sex. I mean, my, my father. Don't get me. My father was is a great man. He taught us how to be men. But <gasps> Kenan showed us the other side of life. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and, the funny thing is, like, tell, okay, tell, like, tell them the advice my father Okay, did. my pops, since he's Jehovah's Witness, you're not uh, supposed to have sex or nothing before you're married. So, one time I went to him, I tried to be, you know, father to son, talk, and I tried to go to him, and um, I told him, I said, Dad, um, this girl likes me, you know, what do I do? He said, hey, son, when girls start that lovey-dovey, huggy-kissy stuff, you tell them, back off! <laughs> Let's play cards. <laughs> Right. Wait a minute. <laughs> so imagine that I got a girl all hot and steamy ready to give me something and then I'm sitting there talking about, hey, hey, whoa, back off. Go fish. <laughs> all right, now, when we come back, I want to talk to Marlon being the baby boy. I got questions for you. So oh, you guys stick around. We'll be right back with my brothers after this. <laughs> The Keenan Ivory Way In Show is brought to you by Sears. Come see the softer side of Sears.
sprinkling the DKNY. <laughs> Now, that was a, a clip from the uh, premiere episode, am I right? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Now, I got to tell you guys, I'm, you know I'm very proud of you. You guys created this show, and you've come a long way with the show. This is your fourth year now, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I got... Godfather, we had a good teacher. Godfather, you yeah. taught us. <laughs> Thank you. You taught Thanks. us well. But I did a little research, and I found out there's a couple of guys out there who uh, claim that... Uh, <laughs> Let's see this right here. These guys said that, uh... Yo, we're the Mooney Twins. Yeah, that's right, Sean and Marlon. You're making crazy loot off our stuff. You stole our act and you turn it into a TV show. You stole our whole image. I'm the pretty one. Oh, my God. And he's the oh crazy one. Yo, oh do something God. crazy. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> oh, <my> oh man! <laughs> oh, I was close to the Oh God, oh. that's hilarious. Yeah, well, that that actually was Dwayne and Daryl Mooney, uh, sons of Paul Mooney. Oh, yeah, these are his favorite comics. Uh, uh, but anyway, let's talk a little bit more about the show. You guys working together now? How is it working with this guy? Because you guys got to know Marlon. Marlon is. <laughs> You have to understand, Marlon's whole life, he's the guy where everything goes wrong, okay? I remember when he was a little kid, this guy was outside playing with firecrackers, right? He thought it would be very funny to put these uh, big, uh, I guess they call them M80s, M80s yeah. in piles of dog do. <laughs> so he's blowing them up as people walk by, you know. So he takes and puts like three of them in a, a pile like this high. He runs over, he lights them. He goes back, he hides. Nothing happens. He goes, it's a dud. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> in his hair, all over his clothes. He's, he's, he's Wiley e. Coyote. He is Wiley e. Coyote. <laughs> now, okay, now you're the baby boy. Yeah, man. Right? Now, you're the baby in the family. No, yeah, and a lot of people misinterpret. Oh, you the baby. You're spoiled. No, time out. <laughs> I am the baby of a family full of comedians. I'm not spoiled. I'm called a victim. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how many things. I'm, I'm the butt of every, like, you joke. Bring but you bring it on yourself. yourself. <laughs> okay. Can I, can I, I'm going to tell them the classic. Tell them. See, uh, okay. <laughs> now we, all right. Now, we did the Emmys a few years back, all three of us together. And uh, Marlon is cheap. Okay. Hey, I'm just care I he didn't, I'm careful the guy, the, guy was, <laughs> the guy refused to buy a tuxedo. So he calls me up all day long going, I got a great idea. I'm going to get a little tuxedo. I get the pants real high and the sleeves real high. And what I'll do is, you know, he wrote these jokes, right? And I'm going, Marlon, it's not going to be funny. Just buy yourself a tuxedo. Right? <laughs> so finally he calls Damon. Well, he, first he's bugging me right, at the place Sean. all day going, yo, let's both do it. And I'm like, nah, B. <laughs> hey, you need a partner when you're going down. <laughs> so Damon calls me, said, Mom's driving me crazy. I said, okay, you know what? If he calls me again, I'm going to tell him to do it. Sure enough, he called me. <laughs> and I soup him up to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Only I tell Sean, when we go out there, don't even acknowledge him. <laughs> Don't say anything. Because the only way it would work is if we turned to him and right. said, Hey, Marlon, look at that little suit. Right. <laughs> so we let him come out on the Emmys in this tiny suit. I look like I, Urkel on crack. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 have, I have the clip, and there's oh, two things y'all need to look at. <laughs> I want y'all, I want y'all to look at the suit and then look at his forehead when he breaks out in the sweat once he realizes what we're, we're not going along with it. Check it out. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here are Keenan, Sean, and Marlon Waynes. Waynes is... Now, watch 
Nominations by Sammy, lead actress in a comedy series, Law. Oh. <laughs> Marion Ross of Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> Kirstie Alley for Cheers. <laughs> Betty White for Golden Girls. Wait, wait, wait. No, you got, y'all, got, y'all got to show the rest of this. Candace Bergen for Murphy Brown. <laughs> Look at Wall Street. Look. Roseanne, no, Roseanne. Oh, my God. Time daily for wins. I got to say, I can laugh about it now. <laughs> But that's the first time in my life I ever wanted to fight you. And I know y'all can hear me. <laughs> I mean, look at all this. I can't fight this and that. <laughs> but he learned, you, learned, you learned your lesson. I learned spend some money, and that's I went right. and did that today. You tonight. <laughs> Okay, before before we go, I wanna I wanna just wrap it up with uh, what you guys are working on now. You got the movie Senseless. I got a movie Senseless coming out December 12th. It's a. <laughs> and uh, Sean has written a, a, a book, 150 Ways to Know Your Ghetto. <laughs> okay, let, let, just, just, just read like two. You know your ghetto if you keep food stamps on a money clip. <laughs> you know your ghetto if you have a car phone and no car. <laughs> All right, you guys. This show comes on Wednesday night, 9 p.m. on the WB. The book is called 150 Ways to Know Your Ghetto, Senseless, My Young Bloods, Marlon and Sean. We'll be right back.